Consulting Services. Today we're going to show you an Angular Node.js application which submits a Contact Us form. Now, we've already discussed what our web application does. It's a single page web application and as we click on different links, we invoke Angular actions. We use the Angular router to show different views on the center page. I have everything written bootstrap here, I have a sticky footer here. So if I go to the Contact Us page, this is basically what it boils down to, that I'm showing uh, a, a template for the Contact Us form. I've already invoked a Contact Us controller, etc. So, giving you a little rundown. Okay, basically what we have is an Angular app. We have a Node.js app. Um, we have our main Angular app defined at the ng app tag. We have uh, where where we have uh, script tags pointing to our version of Angular we're using, Bootstrap, etc. And in our index.html, we also have an ng view tag, and we use the router to define what goes in that tag. For example, when I click on the contact us, we execute the contact us controller. We show the contact us template. The data from the controller scope is bound to the template, et cetera, et cetera. Also, we include our application script files below. Now, we do have a Node.js application. I won't show it to you now, but it is running on the cloud. Okay, so so let me get to the, the crux of what we wanted to talk about. I have a certain site area here called Contact Us. It's its own module. Okay, and, and within the Angular app, I've added this as a dependent module. So basically we use the router to basically say, okay, when you click on, on, on this action, invoke the controller, display the template, and bind the data to the template, etc. So when we clicked on this link here, the controller did execute. The template is being shown right now. Okay, so what happened when the controller executed? I defined it, I defined a contact object. I defaulted some user type to a this is a default radio box value. I also I also define this value that I'm going to use in the template to either show the form or say we've already submitted the form. Now, what we need what we need is a way to um, submit the data from our form. So the way we do that is with an action, and I'll show you what that action is. That action's right here, but let me show you how we 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 this we uh, submitted it. Here we have the contact us form. We have um, uh, an Angular ng submit called add contact us. That has to be defined in scope. I'm submitting all of these values in the form, which are based on ng model, and those that data gets um, submitted uh, to, to the action. So this add contact us form takes the contact us object when it receives it, logs out the data, uses the Node.js service URL, which it gets out of scope, adds this, this forward slash contact us value in, and, and basically what we do is we use Angular's HTTP service to find the URL, the data, the method, and we invoke the function and we get back a success and we show success. Um, showing success sets a value so I could actually, in the, in the HTML form, I could either say, you've successfully submitted this form or you need to submit it again. So let's see what happens when we submit. I've successfully submitted the form. 
oh, Node.js, on the Node.js, and I'm actually logging it, showing what the value is. But the truth is I already sent this to the email server in the Node.js app. Um, and it's already on its way uh, to someone's e uh, email destination box. To take a look at maybe what that server-side code looks like, it's not too complicated. Um, Here's my here's my Node.js code. Basically, what it does is it sets up the mail options for the mail server transporter, and it and it sends it. It sends the email using the mail options. So so basically, what I did is I used Node modules to send the email, and and that's that's that's. Rel 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 relatively simple too. If you look at a node, it uses this this node mailer, this SMP transport node module, and um, and basically um, I use a configuration object to load some configuration values out of a property file, and, and I and I log them. I do some assertions, and I define the transporter using some of the the values out of the properties file. And then the email, the email is sent. Um, notice on the way back, I use the ng if tag. If if it's not a success, I will show the form again. But since it was a success, um, since this was true value, I I, I uh, displayed this user friendly message. So that's really all I wanted to discuss today. I'm sorry I went through it so fast, um, but I got a 10 minute timer on this video. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to um, not run out of time.